In this problem, we're going to list from smallest to largest three fractions, 5 sixths, 13 twenty fourths, and 3 fourths. Now when you look at these fractions, certainly 13 and 24 are larger than the other numerators and denominators that we see, but we really can't tell which one of these fractions is largest just by looking at the numerators and denominators separately. What we have to do is write each fraction with a common denominator. And the common denominator that we're going to use is the least common multiple, or LCM, of 6, 24, and 4. So let's find that least common multiple. To do that, I need to take each denominator separately. So let's take 6 and I need to factor into prime. Six is two times three. My next denominator is 24. Let's take 24. I can factor 24 into um, four times six. Four I can factor as two times two times 6, I can break down into 2 times 3. Now I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. I have all prime numbers, so I'm done factoring 24. Now let's look at 4, my third denominator. 4, I can factor as 2 times 2. And I have primes there, so I'm done factoring 4. Now let's put together the LCM of these three. I have one factor of two in my prime factors of six. I have three twos in my prime factors of 24. And I have two twos in my prime factors of four. The most number of twos that I see is three right here in the 24. So I'm going to use those three twos for my LCM. As for 3, I have one factor of 3 here with the 6. I have one factor of 3 here with the 24, and none with the 4. Well, I never see more than one factor of 3 in any one of those, so I need just one factor of 3 for my LCM. Now let's multiply these together. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24, 24 is my LCM of these three fractions. And that's going to be the common denominator that we use in order to compare them to each other. Now, let's take my first fraction, 5, 6. 5, 6. I'm going to rewrite 5, 6 with that common denominator, 24. What do I multiply 6 by? To get 24, I need to multiply 6 by 4 to get 24. So up above, I'll also multiply 5 by 4 to get 20. So 5 sixths can be written as 20 20 fourths. My next fraction is 13 20 fourths. 13 20 fourths already has the common denominator, so I can just leave it as is. I don't need to change that one. My third fraction is 3 fourths. I'd like to rewrite 3 fourths with denominator 24. And let's see here. Now 4, I need to multiply by 6 to get 24. 4 times 6 is 24. 3 times 6, then, I multiply above. 3 times 6 gives me 18. 3 fourths can be re rewritten as 18 20 fourths. Now, I have 20 20 fourths, 13 20 fourths, and 18 20 fourths. I can write those three fractions in order. Since they have a common denominator, I write them in order of increasing numerators. The smallest number on top 
is 13, so I have 13 24ths is the smallest fraction. Then comes 18 24ths, and then comes 20 24ths. Next, I have to go back to the original fractions that were involved in this problem. 13 24ths started out that way, so we just leave that alone. But 18 24ths was originally written as 3 fourths. Let's go back to that 3 fourths. 20 24ths, that was originally the 5 6. So let's rewrite that as 5 6. So 13 24ths, 3 fourths, 5 6 are my three fractions written in order from smallest to largest. Now it's interesting to note that 13 24ths turned out to be the smallest of the three fractions, and 5 sixths actually turned out to be the largest. And we're done.